read comic books and manga books. Hi, Beast Nation. That's awesome. Well, you sound like a really, really cool person. So welcome. Happy you're here. What about if they were performing self-harm acts? Um, well, I mean, that depends. Like, okay, I think that if they've maybe self-harm in the past or if they do self-harm, I think they're still a human. I think that they still have the right to post videos. I mean, it's one thing like, um, and you know, but it's like, I don't want to say anything that like could accidentally like, you know, trigger anyone like with self-harm or anything like that. Um, but I mean, obviously, like, would you guys can mute this if anyone like has ever cut themselves and they don't want to hear this or whatever. I'm sorry, this is kind of like just an example. Um, I think like if somebody maybe was obviously making videos of them like actively, you know, maybe like hurting themselves on camera, then obviously like that stuff would be like removed. But I think if they're existing, if they had scars or they looked the way they looked, be like whatever, that's not promoting anything. I think they still have the right to um, put themselves out there. Like a hundred percent. Thank you, Eat Cat Skit, for the bits. Miss them so much. Oh yeah, I used to watch Destinate a lot too. Um, I think they were cool. I hung out with them once, like at playlist, and they were they were cool. Like when when we hung out, it was a long time ago now. That was like years ago, but they were cool when I hung out with them. Um, we've had this conversation several times now. Do people just not listen or what? Exactly, Alyssa. It's like. It's crazy. It's like with some of these people, I just kind of feel like they are always trying to like make things I do into something bad. And I kind of already said, guys, like how I feel about that. That's one thing with me that I kind of feel like when people start like saying like I'm like like going after children because like I'm like a bad role model or I'm this and I'm that. It's like some of like the things that people call me. Like, I've had people, like, literally tweet me, like, that I'm a groomer, or, like, like write messages, like, okay, groomer, and I'm like, do you even know what grooming is? Like, that is, like, such a serious and a horrible thing, and I would absolutely never be grooming kids. I'm like, do some of these people even know what that means? Like, you cannot be calling people, like, terrible accusations like that, you know, like, that is, like, a really messed up thing, and definitely something I would, like, never do. Like, that's crazy. Um, and I just kind of feel like, you know, like me existing on the internet and me like looking the way I look, like that's just my appearance. I'm, I'm just making videos of like things I enjoy, like whether that's makeup or that's fashion or it's like a vlog, like I'm not making adult content, you know, I'm not like, listen, by all means, like if I was like making like porn videos or like whatever, then yeah, obviously that should be age restricted and I totally get that. But I think like people need to try to like understand that like barely anybody on the internet age restricts unless like they're making 18 plus content, which I'm not doing that. You, you show the lingerie for Valentine's? That's not 18 plus content, you guys. Like listen, if that was a bad judgment call with me, then I'm sorry. I know like some people got like really, really mad at me with that. I didn't really view it as a big deal. Uh, it's an outfit from like Dolls Kill. Um, tons of people have like dedicated lingerie videos. I had it as like one outfit, uh, and underwear, like, you know, that's like another thing. A lot of people be like, oh, she's always, she's always purposely flashing and things like that. Um, I'm not, you know, I understand that like I've had like some mistakes online where like my underwear has like accidentally like shown. Um, but me like showing my underwear for a quick second in that video, that was the one time I did it on purpose because I thought they were cute. And I was like, yeah, this is like a lingerie set. You know, I think it's cute. Here's my outfit. But there's plenty of people doing like full hauls like on YouTube. You can literally like go to YouTube and search this up where they're not age restricted. Um, t typically like actual age restriction is only going to be like legitimate 18 plus content meaning like, you know, porn or more like kind of like OnlyFans, like what people think of with like OnlyFans. I've read the TOS. Tons of people have reported me to YouTube guys and they have not, they have not, like YouTube doesn't ban me. They haven't age restricted me because I'm not breaking TOS. Um, obviously if I was, if that was against TOS, then I wouldn't have posted that to begin with. 
Um, but like, once again, I'm not making adult content. Like I'm not making 18 plus content. So there's really like no reason for me to be age restricting it. So that's the thing. I'm not making like content. Multiple videos with underwear showing. Yeah, I'm aware you guys listen. I've been on the internet for a long time. Um, I've had mistakes. Like I wear a lot of skirts. Um, I've worn a lot of outfits that are kind of like short. Um, maybe sometimes I have been kind of dumb with like the way I was sitting, but that's not me lying. Like I know like a lot of people are always saying like, no, no, she purposely, like she, like, she purposely flashed everybody. Um, and sometimes I kind of feel like people make too much of a big deal about that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, I didn't show any more skin than what you would see in like a bikini anyway. Um, you know, so I don't really think like, I wasn't like so ashamed. It was kind of like, whoops, it happened, like whatever. But anytime that I've said that it was a mistake, it was a mistake. Like there's no reason I would be like trying to like show kids my underwear or like whatever people were trying to like make it into. You know, I've had mistakes happen. I don't think, I think like they get really like blown out of proportion sometimes. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Yeah, if you ever, Watch the clip channels on YouTube. You don't realize it's 10 seconds of a five hour stream. Yes, thank you for putting that out, XFB. And that's something too that like, I've always tried to like, you know, really like explain to people. And a lot of time people don't want to listen. Um, a lot of time guys, like I do like long streams. Like I'll be on stream for hours, right? And there'll be like these people that are just kind of like making clips where they'll kind of take like a, um, like what, like, like, like a 10 second clip out of like a five hour stream or something. And then they'll try to like make it into look like, see, she did it again. She knows what she's doing. And it's like, well guys, like it's weird. Like I feel like there's some people that are kind of always just like waiting for something to happen. Like they're always kind of trying to like look like in my crotch here, just like hoping something shows so they can try to like catch me and doing what they know that I'm doing and like prove it or whatever. And it's like, you know, like, like, no, it's like, I'm doing like five hour streams or sometimes more. Um, and I'm just kind of, you know, I'm literally, I'm, I'm literally just like streaming. Like, I think like sometimes when you're doing really long streams, like that kind of thing is gonna happen. Like sometimes, especially if you're wearing a lot of skirts, like I do. Like sometimes it can just kind of happen with girls. Yeah, you already issue somehow. I know, Melissa. It's like, it's so weird because, you know, like, I'm just kind of trying to, like, you know, come on here and, like, talk to you guys and stream and just, like, whatever. And then it's like, with some of these people, it's kind of like they're kind of the ones, like, if anything, I feel like being a little bit, like, creepy with things sometimes because they are the ones kind of, like, all, like, always purposely trying to, like, see something with me and, like, catch my, like, you know, catch me, like, flashing or whatever. And just like obviously looking for something there. And meanwhile, anytime I've had a mistake with that, I'm literally like, I wasn't even looking there. Maybe I was looking at my face or I was just like looking elsewhere, but I'm just like, you know, kind of like not like always like staring down there. And that's where like sometimes like it's weird. Cause like, I'm not even like noticing or thinking of it. And then um, people like make such a big deal. And then they try to make me into like the creepy one. Hi, I'm new here. Hi, happy dude, welcome. Thank you for joining. People can be so mental on the internet. They always seem to be looking for an edge to complain about someone and start drama. I'm really sorry people do that to Eugenia. Lingerie, lingerie and swimsuits are not 18 plus. Thank you, Dustin. Yeah, and like it's strange. Like I see like, you know, so many other girls like posting wearing like less than me and then like people and no one complains but then with me it's like <laughs> thank you for the bit saver room jd let's have a good stream thank you today as thank well. you so Sparkle. much it means a Sparkle. lot Sparkle. hi sunny how are you you know i think there's just kind of always going to be those people that complain no matter what Haley markle how are you Why was my comment deleted? I was agreeing with you, Eugenia. Oh, I'm sorry, hockey soccer, what up? Um, I mean, I actually didn't see your comment. Um, it was probably a mistake though. Um, that's what I would assume, you know, like, 